Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. Former leader of Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghrib, Mukhtar Bal Mukhtar, has been killed in a raid by US coordinator strikes in the eastern city of Ajdabia. The US has confirmed Bal Mukhtar was targeted but did not say he had died. In recent years, Bal Mukhtar's death has been declared on at least four occasions as the US have attached a $5 million reward for information on his whereabouts. Bal Mukhtar has been accused by the US of terrorism and related offences in connection with an attack in 2013 on the Algerian gas refinery. South Africa's High Court will decide on June 15 whether to send Sudan's President Omar al-Bashir to the International Criminal Court. Until then, al-Bashir is ordered to remain in South Africa. Bashir has been accused of war crimes in repressing an armed uprising in the Sudanese region of Darfur. The Hague-based ICC issued an arrest warrant in 2009, but Bashir denies the charges. The Knesset has approved a draft legislation that would enable the Israeli army to force-feed hunger striking Palestinian prisoners. The legislation comes as Palestinian prisoner Qadir Adnan has been hunger striking since the beginning of May, demanding an end to his administrative detention. The draft passed its first reading in the preceding Knesset but did not reach the required second and third readings to be passed into law. A top commander from the National Liberation Army, Jose Amin Hernandez Manrique, has been killed in the northwestern province of Antioquia. He led 13 ELN units in Antioquia and Bolivar provinces. Manrique's killing by the Colombian army comes as the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia and the Colombian government agree to pursue peace talks, an initiative the ELN refused to enter. Thanks for watching. Istanbul.